So today I wanted to look at doing the rear discs. So first things first, let's get the car up in the air and the wheels off. So now we've got the car up in the air nice and safely. We've got the axle stands in, we've got the chocks on the front wheels, front and back of course, both sides. The other side's up in the air as well. And we've still got the trolley jack just protecting the car at the other side as well. And obviously the wheels underneath too. And just the same as when we did the fronts the other week, I've got a dust sheet down, just so it's nicer for me to sit on, but also to collect any brake dust that's gonna fall off. So with the caliper now safely out of the way, the next thing we need to do is look at removing this carrier. It's a little bit difficult to see or to get the camera in there. Hopefully you can see where I am. Around the back, what you've got is these one, two fixings just for this carrier, and that is an eight mil Allen key. So what we're gonna do is just get our bit in there, and then what we're gonna do is get the ratchet on that, and then we'll loosen these off and just remove this bracket. Okay, so with that bracket off, we can see obviously we've got our two fixings there. So we'll be able to give those a clean up and reuse them. And then in our bracket as well, we can see obviously where it was fixed against the point. So what we're gonna do is give this a nice clean up as well to make sure that that goes back on properly. We will be looking to paint these, spray these, spray the whole calipers soon in due course. So I'm not too fussed about making it a perfect job just for today. Like I say, we will be getting these right back down so that we can give them a nice coating, some color, maybe red, maybe yellow. I'm uh, not too sure yet. Maybe you want to drop a comment in and just see what you would like to see the colors go. Let me know. Next up on the face of the disc, what we've got is just this one fix in here. It's just a five mil Allen key. I think the torque setting for this is something really low, like 10 to 15 newton meters. So it should come undone relatively easily, he says. Yep, there we go. There we go. So now for removing the disc itself, it should just be a case ideally of just being able to pull it off but we know it's been on there for quite a few years, so that's unlikely to happen, shall we say. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of give it some knocks. Obviously we can only get to this side of it because of our uh, shroud around the outside. So I'm just gonna tap it gently, try and get it to come off, uh, and then just obviously give it a turn, 180 degrees. Give it a knock again a little bit more, and just keep going at it until it comes away. I should probably point out as well today, we're not actually gonna be changing our discs. I'm just gonna go through the method of how to do it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my discs, they actually are okay. So I've not got the money to go and buy new ones unnecessarily. So I'm gonna obviously watch out and be careful with getting these off. Okay, so there we go. So that came off really easily, actually, to be fair. Really pleased with that, the way that came off. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure that we clean up this hub, get it back as clean as possible as it can be, and then obviously we'll give it a lining with some copper grease to make sure that it doesn't get stuck on there next time. Okay, so with the face of the hub nice and clean, I'll just give it a spray over with some uh, brake cleaner, just to make sure it's as clean as possible. Because what we want to make sure is that this face is as flat as possible so that when we put the disc back on or when we put the new disc on, there's no kind of flex in it. We want it to make sure that it's perfectly flat and straight to the car. Otherwise you might get wheel wobble, uneven wear or anything like that. So we'll make sure that this is as clean as possible for that new disc to go on. If 
you were replacing your discs and you had your new ones to hand, now obviously would be the time to make sure that you give them a clean over to get that protective film that they would put on there to stop them corroding. So just a wash over with some brake cleaner, a wipe over with the tissue, both sides, front and back, and that'll get them ready to go on. Once everything's lovely and clean, get your new disc, offer it up, lining up the holes, big holes for the fixings where the tyre studs are going to go or the wheel studs are going to go and then get your small fix in and just pop that back in there. Get your 5mm Allen key or Allen bit and then just line that up into place to get that screwed in. And like I say, the torque setting for this fixing is only 10 to 15 Newton meters. So realistically, my torque wrench only goes down to 30. So it's only just tight by hand uh, and that should be more than adequate. So with the disc back on, just cleaned up the caliper bracket. What we're gonna do now is just get these back in. So we're just gonna offer the first one up. Just get that tightened in by hand. We'll get the second one down here as well. Just get that tightened in by hand. And then we can get them torqued up. So the torque setting for this is 57 to 60 Newton meters. So as ever, I'm gonna go on the heavier side and I'm gonna go up to 60. So with our disc back on, our caliper carrier back in place, what we can do now is just get our pads back in and then we can get our caliper down and we can obviously get that refitted. So we just do this one and this one. There we go. Then we can get our caliper, bring it down, put our pad or indicator back through the hole, slide it back over, get our two fixings. Just get them in finger tight and then we can torque them up again just as we did i think up to 30 newton meters on these once they're nice and tight obviously we can just get our pad or indicator pop that back on the bracket and then we can get that connected back up so i'll get that done now so with all that back together one last thing before we get the car down just give the disc one more clean over with a brake cleaner. Give it a good wipe over. Get all that dirt, grease, or anything that you may have got on it. All the way off, look at the state of that. And because you should always do your disc in pairs, obviously I'm gonna do the other one now. Okay, so with the other side now done, one last thing just before we put the wheels back on. Just gonna get some copper grease just on the face of the hub here. And then obviously we can give the discs one last clean over with a brake cleaner. So with the wheels now back on, the nuts just pinched up, finger tight, let's get the car back on the ground. So now with it down on the ground, let's just get these wheels torqued up. 120 Newton meters for these. And we just have a feel of the brake pedal now. I'm expecting it's going to be soft and sloppy, which it is, straight to the floor. So we just give it a couple of pumps. Straight away it gets a lot harder. What I'll do now is just start the engine. Give it another couple of pumps. That's lovely and firm now. So I'll get a handbrake back on. I'll get all the chocks removed and everything. I'll get tidied up, get all that back inside, and then we'll go for a test drive. Okay, so we're back from the test drive and everything's perfect. So as much as we haven't actually changed any parts today, when it comes to changing them in the future, we know it's gonna be nice and serviceable and those points are gonna come off nice and easily. So hopefully you found that useful. If you've enjoyed it, hit like down below. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe coming up here now. Like I always say, you know, the more subscribers, the more likes I get, the more videos I'm gonna make. So for now, 
Really appreciate you watching. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.